what we have here at Marmot Cabin is an opportunity to connect kids to the natural world in a way that you can't really do anywhere else within the Portland metro area. I love the forest and the trees and all the wildlife. I love that I learn so much. It's just amazing. Marmot is one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen. I realized there's no better place I could be in the whole entire world right now. Our most impactful programs are our overnight programs. Everything from overnight outdoor schools here at Marmot Cabin to summer, winter, and spring break camps. We have a chance to serve over 14,000 kids a year for all of our programs, but the overnighters are what really matter the most. My favorite thing about Marmots so far is the trails, the paths, the excitement in the air, the tension, the drama. There's bear tracks you can see and deer tracks and cougar scat right on the trail. And so you have an opportunity at all those moments to stop and get down with the students and really look and see kind of what evidence is there for the animals that utilize this place as a habitat. When you enter the Marmot property, there's two really nice 30-foot yurts that were just installed at the beginning of this summer. They're huge and they're the most fun thing to sleep in in the world. I'm not kidding. It's, there's so many bunks and it's like a big circle. You can look up at the stars in the middle of the night. It's really fun. Marmot Cabin, which was built in 1956, has a kitchen that really makes it impossible to cook for that many. We have one table, a sink, that doesn't even work, we don't get hot water. We have worked really hard to make the facility work for the students that we have. The quarters are tight and it's really well cramped. When we bring a school group up there, even if it's a group of 20 students, it's very hard to really deliver a quality program in that amount of space. When it's raining, it's really difficult to even move around, let alone teach a traveling science program or a hands-on uh, bird specimen program. The facility that we have an opportunity to build here on site will create a really comfortable and magical place that will suffice for the magical woods that are behind me. I think it's a really good idea to build a bigger cabin so more kids can come, more kids can have fun, and more kids can have this experience. And the sooner we rebuild the cabin, more people and kids will be able to come, and the more kids that are able to come, the more they'll learn about nature, and the more they learn about nature, the better the world will be. The thing I'm most excited about is just a larger common space that will be very easy to set up tables, provide meals, push those tables aside to have room for people to spread out and work with different specimens that we bring up or different lessons, pull out field guides, sit at a large deck that will be out there to watch the sunrise as we eat breakfast out there. Man, this is what this land was, was meant to do. And to give it that opportunity is groundbreaking. It is so incredibly exciting because it is exactly what it's there for. Coming to Marmot really made me see nature differently. Now when I look around all, all these trees, I, like, I see something that needs to be protected. Without nature education, people would litter, destroy forests, just they wouldn't care. It honestly, it inspires them and it inspires me even more because knowing that they're in love with what I fell in love with, it lets me know that they'll protect it for as long as I will. This work now, especially, is so important. Like, it is more important than ever. Not only to be able to get people out in nature so that they're inspired to protect it, going out into nature and getting that opportunity builds each person into a better person, their best person. I've loved my experience at Marmot, and even though I hate being away from my mom and my dad and my two cats, I'd definitely love to come back next year. I will beg my mom to come back here next year. I will do anything to come back. Joe Miller donated this land to inspire the next generation of conservationists. So please, we hope that you'll help us continue his legacy.